Well, just another lovely day here at work. Um, got a delivery to take. And I loaded that bad boy up just like a puzzle. Three bay covers, two on the back, one on the top. Three commercial units, end to end, side to side. Got that bad boy stacked and packed. Got her strapped down nice and good. And, uh, yeah. So, that's how you, how you do it right there. Uh, get you some of that, always.
So the guy in the red shirt, red t-shirt, he's a junk man and he's asking the owner over there if he'll take $100 a piece for them old AC units. <clears throat> yeah. And the owner just told him no. I think junk man's out of luck. Yep, set that dude right on the bed. And then come over to my truck and get the other three units and the curb lift them up, take them to the roof. up up and away so it's funny because there's a uh, guy over there in a the yellow shirt the uh, works at the crane company and um, he's a he's a BSer he likes to shoot the shit and uh, I'm not that type of person he just talks shit all the time um, but he likes to get his paws into everything. So I just let uh, the guy with the AC company deal with him. I just come over here, mind my own business, let them unload the units as they need to, and go on from there. But so far, that's the biggest crane that I've had on our job. Um, that's a big boy. He said it's a, a 250, I think is what he said. And it's the only one with a square boom that they own. But it's a hog daddy. And he said that the company is working on getting them a 500. Now, what that means in crane terms, I don't know. Other than it's, uh, that's going to be a big old boy. So, anyway, I got all three of the units off now and uh, got two more units on the truck and one more bay curb. And then I'll put my gates back on and start heading back to the shop. So, anyway, that's where we stand. Um, it's... Uh, it's about 9.30, 9.27 to be exact. And uh, these guys moving like a well-oiled machine. So, anyway. Yep. So I thought I would film it from this side just to kind of give you an idea of the size that's a big old boy right there but just hook it to it takes it on over puts it where the guys on the roof tell them to crane works they've got the big crane here and then they've got the semi truck there um, and then my little rinky dink truck <laughs> so yeah I'll film one more unit going up <clears throat> the last one that's a big old boy right there
So I was talking to the dude in the yellow shirt. And the plates on the back of this crane, <clears throat> he said is about 92,000 pounds. And they've got three more counterweights that can go on the back, oops, that can go on the back of this counter. This uh, crane, I wasn't looking where I had the camera, but I've um, got 92,000 pounds of counterweight on there right now. And that's not even all of the counterweight. They've got three more uh, pads back at the shop they can put on it but they said for this job 92,000 would be more than enough but I just thought that was interesting um, yeah that's a that's a big boy they said that uh, the uh, this is a 200, I said 250 earlier, but that's a 200. And um, they said the 350 at the shop that they've got has got seven axles on it. And the 500 has got 11 axles and that they can counterweight each of those axles to balance out the, the weight of uh, the crane, I guess. But um, the 350, he said, has got 167,000 pounds of counterweights that normally goes with it. <clears throat> And the 500 would have um, almost 200,000 pounds of counterweights to go with it. So, yeah, that's going to be a hog daddy. Um, so I'm just waiting for them now to uh, do something with this wood. I told him I didn't have any place to put it. But they're going to get the bay dampers up on the roof next. Um, and then I'll put my gates back on and I'll be done. So I guess I got to go down here and see if I can get this guy to get this wood off the back of the truck so that I can keep on a rolling. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Um, that's kind of a crane job. It's 10.01 right now, so um, I should be back at the shop. Hopefully, once I get all this wood off of here, get my gates back on, I should be back at the shop 10.30, 11, probably, and uh, go on with the rest of my day. So, anyway... I just thought it'd be cool for y'all to see this. Um, just a another day at work. So I'll talk to y'all on the flip side. See ya.